guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with my April book haul. Now, I know that I just uploaded a book haul literally last week with a ton of books there, but I have accumulated more books since then, and I'm trying to keep my hauls down to like a smaller size so they take less time to film, edit, and watch. And I've gotten eight more books since I filmed that haul, so I feel like that's a decent number to film another one. I really enjoy filming and watching hauls, so I don't really mind if I have like multiple smaller ones, but I've rambled enough already, so without any further ado, let's just get into the books. The first book that I have to haul is The Takedown by Corey Wang, and this book actually just released yesterday, April 11th. And this video is paid promotion with Freeform Books, an imprint of Disney Publishing Worldwide. So thank you so much to Freeform Books for sending this my way and for sponsoring this video. The Takedown follows the story of this high school senior named Kyla Cheng, and she is doing exceptionally well in her senior year. She's the valedictorian of her class, she's in several clubs, and her entire high school career has gone pretty well. But all of that changes when one day someone releases a video of her supposedly sleeping with her English professor. But it turns out that it actually isn't Kyla in that video and someone is just framing her, so she has to delve into the interwebs and try and figure out who uploaded this video and how to take it down. So a lot of the story focuses on technology and how technology kind of functions in our society, and it's set in like a near future kind of setting where technology plays an even bigger role in our lives. But it sounds extremely fascinating, and I really don't read much that has has to do with like technology and how that influences us, so I'm really intrigued by that aspect of it. And I really appreciate that we're getting a Chinese main protagonist, and also can I just say that this cover is so cool. I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but you can see there are like little screens that make up the entire image of like her face, and it looks so incredible. But yeah, once again, thank you to Freeform Books for sending this my way, and I cannot wait to dive into it. The next book that I have here is a collection of poetry, and that is The Collected Poems of Sylvia. Sylvia Plath. As many of you know, I really like to read poetry, and I've read Ariel by Sylvia Plath, and I own that collection, but I haven't read the rest of her poetry, and I really, really loved Ariel, so I decided that I would pick this up and every once in a while read a few of her poems. For those of you who have been asking for me to do a poetry recommendations video, that is also on its way. I will be filming that very soon. I just have a couple more collections that I own that I want to finish reading before I film that video, so not to worry if you're waiting for that video, it will come soon. But yeah, I'm excited to have this, so I can check out some of her other work and see what I think of that. The next few books that I have here are all from subscription boxes that I've done unboxings for, so I will leave all of those linked on the screen as well as down below if you'd like to go watch the unboxings. But the first one I have here is from my March Owl Crate box, and that is The Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This is one that totally caught my attention because I love pirates. Anything that has a piratey theme or has to do with Pirates of the Caribbean is absolutely something that I will want to read. It follows the story of this notorious female pirate who allows herself to be captured by these other pirates in order to steal a treasure from them. The front of it is even blurbed by Anna Banks, and it says, readers should rejoice because now we have a Lady Jack Sparrow on our hands, and I just cannot wait to read this book. So if any of you guys have any more like piratey book recommendations for me, definitely leave those in the comments down below because I would love to read more pirate-themed books because clearly I am obsessed. <laughs> the next book that I have here is from my March book box, and that is To Catch a Killer by Cheryl Scarborough. This book follows the story of this girl named Erin Blake who, when she was three years old, was found with her mother's dead corpse, and she supposedly survived on her own for three days while her mother was dead. And then again, when she's 17 years old, she finds the body of her dead biology teacher. And so it's like death is kind of following her around, and there's a whole mystery surrounded around that. So it sounds like it's going to be pretty dark, but also extremely intriguing. I'm hoping that it has a lot of suspense and mystery, and if that's the case, I think I'll really enjoy this one. The next book that I have to haul is from my March Uppercase box, and that is Hunted by Megan Spooner. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but it follows this girl named Yeva who was actually raised by aristocrats, so unlike Belle, she didn't start out poor, she started out from a very wealthy family, but she's always longed to go out and be free in the wilderness, and one day she gets that opportunity through unfortunate circumstances, and then I'm sure we have some beast character come in at some point, um, but it sounds really interesting and I feel like it came out at like the perfect time with all the Beauty and the Beast hype going on right now, so I'm really interested to see how this one ends up playing out. The next book that I have here is from my March Fairy Loot box, and that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. And this is the beautiful UK edition with blue sprayed pages, and the inside is even signed by Lainey Taylor, and it has this gorgeous like art in it too. I am just 
so obsessed with this book. The minute that I saw the cover of this book, I knew that I had to make another beautiful book covers video because I loved making that video and I'm obsessed with beautiful book covers and this one has to be in a video. So another one of those will also be coming soon. <laughs> Quite honestly, I cannot tell you what this book is about because the synopsis honestly doesn't make any sense. It's fantasy and it's set in this magical city called Weep and I think we follow a librarian and that's really all I know. I don't know anything else that happens, but I'm so, so excited to read this book. I've had so many of my friends tell me that they absolutely loved it. I've had people tell me that it's like their new favorite book and I just can't wait anymore. I haven't had the time to like sit down and dedicate to it yet, so I haven't been able to pick it up, but I just cannot wait until I have enough free time because I know that I'm going to devour this because Lainey Taylor's writing is just exquisite. The next book that I have to haul, I am really, really happy to have, and that is Dear Ijuele or A Feminist Manifesto in 15 Suggestions by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This book was sent to me by Penguin Random House, so thank you so much to them for sending it my way. Oh, and I almost forgot, they also sent me this incredible tote bag that goes along with the book. This side just has like the title and it kind of just looks like the cover. And then the other side has a quote that says, I matter, I matter equally, not if only, not as long as, I matter equally, full stop. And I love it so much. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous tote. But back to the book, this is actually a letter that Chimamanda wrote to a friend who was asking her about how to raise her daughter as a feminist. And when I heard that that's what this was, I was so intrigued and I knew that I had to read it. I've only started it, I'm about like maybe 15 pages into it and it's really not very long, so that is fairly far. But as of now, I'm really, really enjoying it and I think it's such a thought-provoking read. As many of you probably know, my major in college is gender and women's studies, so I focus a lot on feminism and I read about it a lot in my school time, so I also like reading about it in my free time as well because as a feminist myself, it's something that really matters to me. So I feel like this is such a unique topic that I haven't read much about. So I'm just so excited to finish this up and see what I think of it, but I'm pretty sure that I'm really going to love it. And finally, the very last book I have in this haul is one that is absolutely stunning, and that is this beautiful, beautiful copy of A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Now, I've never read A Tale of Two Cities. I've read Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, which I actually didn't really like that much, but I've been wanting to read A Tale of Two Cities for the longest time, and I saw this one in this gorgeous bookstore in um, Boulder, Colorado, because I was there a little while ago and it was just so eye-catching that I just took it off the shelf and I knew that I had to have it. It was also like on sale and it was a really good price for one of these like Easton Press leather bound books. So um, I bought it there and I'm really happy to finally have a copy of this gorgeous, gorgeous book. All right guys, so that is everything for my April book haul. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in this haul or if you've hauled any of them recently or if there are any books that you've hauled recently that you just really want to talk about, feel free to talk about them with me. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!